Well, good evening, folks. Here we are again, as you remember from a previous video, at uh, Harvington Hall, down near uh, between Kidderminster and Bromsho. There's Harvington Hall over there in front of us, beautiful place. Fantastic uh, location. You can hear the wildlife going on in the background. So it really is a cracking place. But I'm not here to show you houses. I'm here to show you the latest addition to the collection, which is the Royal Enfield Hunter 350, which is the replacement for my um, Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. And uh, what a beautiful machine. So this is my first ride out on it. And uh, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I added a go on one previously. I had a go on Paul's Hunter and uh, really loved it. And uh, the mind was made up when we were in Sky that I wanted one. And uh, I needed one in my life. And there's a reason behind why I want one, which I'll tell you about a bit later. But here it is. So I say it's his first ride out tonight. It was delivered Friday. Today's Sunday. So I've just uh, taken the opportunity. You know, well, we've got a dry, pleasant evening to come out and uh, have a look at the bike. And uh, I just love it. I've gone for the uh, one of the rebel colours, which is the black and grey. Uh, debating on whether to have the red, but I'm I'm really glad that I've gone for the black and grey. I think it's a beautiful colour scheme. Uh, I just love the yellow touch, uh, the yellow detailing. I think it really, uh, really lifts the bike and makes it uh, look good. Yeah, so uh, this is the new addition to my collection. Um, lots to tell you about it really that people don't already know. I have got some bar end mirrors on order. Uh, they come in as part of a deal that I did with the bike, so I'm waiting for them to come in. And I'll pick those up and get them fitted. Um, I'll be fitting a charge point on it at some point. I had the GB rack installed, because uh, I plan to put a top box on there. Same as the way I've got the Scram. I love this exhaust, we'll have a listen to that in a minute as well wonderful exhaust note and I, I love the blacked out engine very much like the scram yeah so what we got we got the uh, the bribery brakes that everybody knows about I say this great detailing on the wheel trims I right hear I have got a belly pan coming to go on it just to put a bit of protection down there so that'll be coming shortly probably going to put a headlamp grill on just to give that an extra, just to, I like the look that it gives to the uh, to the bike. Paul's got one on his, and uh, it really looks the part. Oh, look at the blacked out engine, it's just lovely, isn't it? And I'm probably gonna put some engine bars on as well, just to protect the engine a little bit. Uh, you'll see why when I tell you what I'm, what my plans are for it. Uh, it's just, just look at the, what you get for the money with a Royal Enfield. So, yeah, rear foot pegs, but nobody's ever going to really use that. I'm never going to take a pillion. I'm not insured for a pillion. Uh, so I put the, I the Jibby rack put on it, which looks great. And so that'll have a top box on. Uh, beautiful, so yeah, there you go. I think they look great from the back as well. Whether I might put LED indicators on at some point, not sure, you never know, I may do. And uh, I think you've got the Bybury brake on the back as well. And then this, uh, this little exhaust here makes an absolutely wonderful sound. Uh, it really is nice. And then you've got the heat shield there. And uh, yeah, so there it is. Bye bye Royal Interceptor. 650, hello, 
Royal Enfield um, Hunter 350. So we'll have a little look. Little start up. 20 miles I've done it tonight, so that's about 24 miles on it now because it came with three miles on it. So let's start her up. Ah. And there's a reason why it won't start up. It's because I stopped in gear. <laughs> I put the stand down in gear. Oh, it's such a smooth as well, so smooth. It's just looks wonderful, doesn't it? You wouldn't believe it was a 350. So let's have a listen. Note that that exhaust is making. It's just lovely. Just well lovely. And there we have it, really, folks. Just a quick introduction, and I'll tell you more about the plans for it as we head back home. Because all I want to do is just ride the thing. So. Uh, there you go, Royal Enfield Hunter 350. So, let's head home. Yep, lovely. Love the clock, no rev counter, no triple like I've got on the scram, but you really, really need it. Uh, got to keep down to 40 miles an hour really on the run in, up to the first service, which is at 300 miles. So let's navigate our way across this gravel. Clutch bite is quite a long way out. an issue, just need to remember that that's the situation. The leaves are starting to fall now. Definitely moving into autumn. What's the time now? 5.43, quarter to six. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's head out. I can tell you what's going on. Right. So I bought the um, speed twin 1200 Triumph and I put it side by side and when I went and rode it and I come back and I thought you know although the interceptor hasn't got the power they were, they were very similar in many other ways and I thought two bikes very similar you're not going to use that one because you're always going to jump on the, the speed twin and enjoy the power on that and I would, when we went to Scotland, you won't have seen the video yet, but you will see them. When we went to Scotland, Paul and I took, uh, Paul took his Hunter and I took my Scram. And so uh, we had a bit of a swap bike swap while we were up there and I had to go on Paul's uh, Hunter. He's fully run in, so it's, uh, it's all loosened up and lovely. And uh, I just loved it. I just loved it. And um, what I've been thinking of for some time is I want a, a bike that I can take to Wales because I spend every other weekend and whatever spare time I can in Wales. But I want a bike that I can take to Wales and pretty much leave there throughout the, from the spring to the autumn. So from about Easter to around about now. Just leave it there. So whenever I'm there, I've got the bike there. And I thought, the perfect bike for that is either going to be the Scram or the Hunter. And uh, you know how much I love the Scram, you've seen the videos and I've told you how much I love the Scram. So, I've been looking for a reason to buy a Hunter. And um, I can't have any more bikes. She was, the wife just won't stand for it. She'll let me 
have the four that I have got and she'll let me change them but she won't let me have any additional ones which is fair enough I suppose um, so what I thought I'd do the scrap um, the interceptor I thought yeah let's let the interceptor go and replace it with a hunter and then the, the plan was on Friday two days ago the plan was that the hunter will be the one that will stay in Wales all through the summer now having come out and ridden this I'm not quite sure that's going to be the case so did I say the scram was going to get a Wales? Oh, the hunter was going to get a, get a Wales and stay there throughout the summer. Not too sure that's what's going to happen now. Um, it may well, it may be that I'll take uh, the scram there and leave it for the summer and have the, have the hunter at home. So, I've got more decisions to make now. Or I could vary them perhaps and have a year where this is down there and a year when the hunter's down there. And... The plan for Wales is that I want to ride as many of the back lanes as I possibly can around North and Mid Wales, and even dropping down hopefully some uh, into South, you know, Southern Wales down the coast, Wales well, coast. So that's my plan: is to have a bike there every other weekend when I'm there, and any days of holidays and bank holidays and everything, which is usually where I always end up, unless I'm on tour with the boy hours is that I'll have the bike, I'll have a bike there uh, and if the weather's good uh, we get up early we go and have a, a couple of hours, three or four hours exploration come back and go to the pub <laughs> now that's my plan and uh, keep a set of gear down there and, uh, no, and, and just do it that way so that's what I've got planned and uh, it was it was a good cut and dry it was going to be the hunter the hunter's going down there get it running get it serviced get it running serviced all be ready for the spring uh, and then take it down there and leave it there bring it back in the autumn and uh, not so sure that that's what's going to happen now may well be the scram that goes down there so we shall see um, but I, I, I love it I absolutely love it. I, I, I didn't go on pools and I just, when we were up in uh, in Scotland, and I, it's just got a charm all of its own. I don't know how you describe it. I try my best to describe it. It just feels so nice to ride. It's like I'm being out with a, with a good old friend. You know it's going to look after you. You know you're looking out for each other. And it's just a, a, a pleasant place to be. Uh, so I'm only running it in at the moment, so I've got to be really careful with uh, I don't want to stress the engine or anything, I want to be really gentle with it because doing the running in properly on the uh, on the Scram, I, that bike is now is just, it's superb, you know, I, I, chat, I put a DNA air filter in it as you know and it just runs like a dream, it's no slouch, I'm having so much fun on it um, and this is going to be the same and you know, th this is the easiest bike in, for me in terms of height so I'm, I've got really short legs 28, uh, 29 inside legs and I, yeah, all my bikes are, are too big for me in terms of flat footing them or anything like that but this one I can do that so that's you know this is something else now something something new and novel for me I've got a bike the first bike since I was a teenager <laughs> that I can flat foot and, uh, and it's just I, I just know it's going to be I've reached the point with them with my bikes now with my collection of bikes I think that I've, I've got the all of them make me happy I want to ride all of them all all the time it's, it's really difficult to know if I don't ride the Triumph, I feel guilty for not riding the Triumph, but I'm loving riding this. If I don't ride this, I feel guilty not riding this. And the same for the Scram. Not it's slightly different for the CCM because I never bought that to do a lot to ride it a lot. That's just a little treat. That is, that's a you know that's my guilty pleasure. And that, so that never do. There'll never be a lot of riding done on that. It'll have the odd evening out here and there, or 
or you know short little local ride outs you'll have them so that's what I bought it for I didn't buy it to use it as a as a bike for the purposes that I use mine for so yeah I mean just look at this tootling along now I'm keeping it at 40 in fifth gear it's not even it's not even stressed at all it's just wonderful and there's lovely ton now to the engine um, I just want it running <laughs> um, yeah so do I have any regrets on letting the interceptor go um, the only regret is that I don't like to see any of my bikes go I wish I could keep them all but you know reality means I can't so yeah I'll miss it because it looked wonderful and it was fun to ride sounded great because it had the Scorpion N cans on but will I miss it uh, no not really no we had our fun and uh, now I have a new love in my life I'll have two I've got this and the uh, and the Triumph there are two bikes to try and run in now um, that's not going to be a problem, this will be pretty quick. Uh, our evening ride outs are uh, now coming to an end, so you, we won't be doing many more of them, so I'm going to get the miles in the evening. I've got the next two weekends at home, uh, weather permitting, I'll chuck, uh, I'll get the hopefully, uh, this one definitely up to uh, first service miles and potentially have. Uh, have uh, triumph up to first service miles as well. So, yeah, there we go. So, I'll be back my way to go home. I don't think uh, I don't want to labour this up the Hadley Mile, although I know it'll do it with ease. So, I'm probably going to spin off in a second and just head off around the uh, sort of. Uh, back rows up to uh, through Starbridge and then home. So there you go. Introduction to the uh, the new member of the uh, of the family. Um, I hope you're gonna join me to have some fun on it when we start to get out proper. because uh, I love having you along and uh, really appreciate those of you that take the time to watch the videos. Uh, comment and leave a like um, it's really nice of you to take some of your time to do that and uh, appreciate, appreciate the feedback and it's always great to hear different people's impressions of the uh, of the bikes and stuff and their own experiences they're always useful so uh, look, you know, please feel free to drop them in the comments below and uh, yeah there you go Hope you're going to uh, join me in welcoming the uh, Royal Enfield Hunter 350 into the family. Ah, and if you've got any suggestions for names, um, please drop those in the uh, in the comments box as well, in the comments section. I am toying with a, a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Julian Hunter. So this bike may be being called Julian after him but he's a health and safety advisor so he's like he, you know oh, he's one of those people that keep putting things in place to make our life difficult so uh health and hsqe manager so shall i lay me bike after him <laughs> there you go hello julian if you're watching um so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again soon for more adventures on uh, on whatever bike I'm out riding to try and get the running miles on. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Oh no no no. Yeah, we know the drill now. We're from Smethwick. It's Tarada Beach. See you later. <laughs>